In this problem, a stick with mass m length L leans against a smooth wall with one fourth of its length hanging over a corner. So this is one fourth of length. It makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Assume that there is sufficient friction at the corner to keep the stick at rest. What is the total force the corner exerts on the stick? Let us draw the free diagram, free body diagram of this rod or a stick. The weight mg passes through the midpoint and this is the corner point. At this corner point, the force exerted by this corner has a vertical component equal to V. And since there is horizontal normal direction from this wall, so to balance this horizontal force, there must be a horizontal force exerted by the corner also. So V and H are two components of force exerted by this corner. So V and H are vertical and horizontal component horizontal component of force exerted by corner so we are expected to find these forces v and h this angle is given as theta this distance is given as l by 4 and this distance will be 3l by 4 so from equilibrium, vertical equilibrium, in vertical direction we can write V is equal to mg. From horizontal equilibrium, these two forces should balance n is equal to h. And third equation, we can write the equation of torque. And for writing the equation of torque, we are free to choose any point in a space. But we should choose this point so that the torque of these two forces will become zero about this point. So I am choosing this point for writing net torque is equal to zero. Suppose this point is A. So net torque I am writing about A equal to zero. About this point the torque is coming due to mg and normal reaction. Due to normal reaction if this point is hinged then normal will apply a torque in the anti-clockwise direction and mg will apply in the clockwise direction. So Anti-clockwise torque due to normal reaction should be equal to clockwise torque applied by this mg. So normal has to be multiplied with. So this is the line of action of normal and this is the perpendicular distance. So this distance, this is 3L by 4 theta and this will be 3L by 4 sin theta. So n should be multiplied with. 3L by 4 sin theta. Now mg. mg should be multiplied with, so this is L by 4 distance. From this corner, center of mass is at L by 2, so this is L by 4, and this is the point about which we are taking the torque. So perpendicular distance will be this distance, and this distance from this. Uh, diagram will be L by 4 cos theta. So mg has to be multiplied with L by 4 cos theta. Now this L by 4 will be cancelled and n can be written as mg cos theta divided by 3 sin theta. And further we can write it as this cos theta will go down and it will be mg divided by 3 tan theta. For net force, net force is resultant of this n and h. This is also the value of, so, so net force is resultant of this v and h. So v is known and h is known. So resultant will be this uh, resultant force applied by the corner will be under root v square plus h square 
we can put the values of v and h and we can find the resultant force and the resultant force will be along the direction its direction will be this h is equal to mg divided by 3 tan theta and this is equal to mg if resultant forces are and if it is making angle phi with the horizontal then tan phi can be written as mg divided by mg by 3 tan theta so mg will be cancelled and tan phi is equal to 3 tan theta so it can be seen that this phi is greater than theta we can also apply a second method to solve this problem let us make the free bird diagram first so this is the normal reaction applied by this wall this is mg and somewhere here it is the corner point at the corner point the force applied the component of the force applied by this corner point in vertical direction is v and in horizontal direction this is equal to h basically this is a single force we have just uh, done two components in vertical direction and in horizontal direction the resultant force will be somewhere in between v and h it could be like this it could be like this so what we will do we will just extend these lines the line of action of mg and normal reactions are cutting at this point and for taking torque for equating torque equal to zero if i take this point then about this point the torque due to normal is zero and torque due to gravity is also zero and the third force if i count the force exerted by the corner and suppose a resultant of these two forces is r then line of action of this r must pass through this point since if net force is zero on a system then net torque should be zero about any point taken in space so if i take this point then torque due to normal is zero torque due to mg is zero and if the resultant force does not pass through this point then it will create the net torque about this point and that should not happen so this resultant force r must pass through this point so from this geometry we can also find at what angle this force is acting suppose this angle is phi so we can find the value of this angle phi from the geometry itself this angle we are given as theta so tan phi if i can write so tan phi is equal to this distance divided by this distance so this distance will be equal to this distance and this distance is since this is 3l by 4 this is 3l by 4 sin theta and this distance will be this is l by 4 and this is theta so this is l by 4 cos theta so 10 phi value of 10 phi is 3 l by 4 sin theta divided by l by 4 cos theta and this is equal to 3 tan theta this is the same value which we obtained in the method number one so this is 10 phi v for v we can see that very easily that v is equal to mg and for h we can write v by h is equal to 10 phi which is equal to 3 tan theta so from here we can write the value of h the horizontal component of force exerted by the corner h is equal to v divided by 3 tan theta and this v is equal to mg 
so this is the vertical component and this is the answer for the horizontal component